up welcome back to the channel and today we will be building Milwaukee Road 261 in Minecraft um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get started on the build and right, so what is up it's your boy toaster and we're back with another Minecraft tutorial and today we are building Milwaukee Road 261 she is a uh, Milwaukee Road S3 class northern uh, she's a 484 the Milwaukee Road called their Northerns the Northerns. They didn't call them another name like how the CNO you know, did Greenbrier and stuff like that. So I'll be showing you guys how to build 261, but if you really want to, I'll also be showing you guys how to modify it to look like a Lackawanna, to look like the Lackawanna, uh, a Northern type. Uh, maybe I'll build a Lackawanna Northern, but this is, was back in, I think, the uh, late 90s when she uh, was disguised, or not necessarily, all they really did is change the bell position and the tender wording, but that's like a 1661 if you guys want to build that, but we're mainly going to be building Milwaukee Road 261. So let's go ahead and get started with the um, blocks we're going to need. So we'll start off with the wheels. So you're going to need black terracotta, heather brick slab, a dark oak button, and a dark oak fence gate. Starting on your first block, you're going to place down the main blocks you're going to need. Oops. Place buttons on the end of those and then place four nether brick slabs like that. Dark oak fence gate. And open it. Alright, that's what you should have. Then let's go on to the um, uh, plow part. I'll just clear my inventory this way. You're going to need to get out black concrete, nether brick wall. Nether brick stairs, dark oak fence gate, spruce wood slab, lightning rod, glass, and I don't know why that string is there, probably forgot to remove it um, from when I was building it first. So this is all the blocks you're going to need for the plow, so I'm going to go ahead and you're going to go one, two, three, and on the third block, place one there, the brick wall, uh, another, or another black concrete on top, and black stained pane. Spruce wood uh, slab, dark oak fence gate. That's what you should have so far. Then we're going to come here on the back, place two nether brick stairs like that, three black concrete, and two nether brick stairs on the end. Two down there. Two here. These are for, that's for the coupler. If you wanted to, you can get rid of the coupler and put it um, like up there, uh, since um, whenever. Down. Um, but I like to keep it out. It makes it look a little bit better. All right, so that's what we should have for the plow. Then, uh, you're, oh, it looks like you're going, yep, we'll go on this part. So get out a, a nether brick slab and go one, two, three, like that in the back. Then you're going to need to get out your dark oak trap door, place it like that. And then black concrete there, nether brick stairs. Also nether brick stairs there in the middle. All right. Then get out another brick fence. Place two of them there, and then a dark oak trap door goes right there in the middle. Dark oak fence gate, and then dark oak fence gate in the middle of those. And then you're gonna take out another brick slab and place two of them on the ends like that. All right. Then what you're going to do is we're gonna come over here. I'm just going to build a signal. We'll just get the uh, front cylinders done. So place two black concrete in the middle there for now. Extend it out so there's stairs there. Destroy those. Make it look like this. Bring it out. And then we'll go ahead and shape it out. what you should have so far. Put some in the middle to a black concrete in the middle and then put another brick wall wrapping around it. Not back here though. All right this is what you should have. We place another brick slab there and a dark oak chapter right there. Get out a hopper. Get out an anvil. The hopper down there. The anvil goes there. Same on the other side. 
Maybe I'll build the uh, S1 series and S2 series of the Milwaukee Rooks. I really feel like it. A little bit different though. Kind of smaller and stuff too, so it'd be kind of difficult to try to get dimensions for. But yeah, this is what we should have. Then dark up trapdoor on top of the um, cylinders. Get out polished black some button, two of them there. And then take your nether brick slab and place one there and one there. Bring this out here like that. Then it's going to be another brick slab there, and then under here you're going to place another brick stairs. And then another brick wall and a dark oak fence gate. Alright, so this is what we have for the front segment. Now let's go ahead and move on to the um, uh, main driver. So let me clear my inventory. Alright, so you're going to get out. This, basically the same materials you use. Most of these drivers are actually all the same, but I'm still going to show you guys how to build it because there's no point in cutting it out instead of just because it's easy to show you guys, but you know I do time lapse it, but that just makes the video go by faster. So what you're going to want to do is right here, a block away, place another big slab and extend this out by three, but leave a block gap in between and in those block gaps place a dark oak fence gate and you're going to bring it all the way back to here. So you should have in total at least four. If you really want to, you can make a Hudson. I mean, these were pretty similar looking to the uh, Baltics. Not the, the Baltics be in there. Four six fours that the Milwaukee Road had. All right, so this is what you should have. I'm going to take out black concrete and extend it all the way across the end or all the way across like that. Then dark oak fence gate on the end like this with another brick fence on top of each one except for the back one because of the firebox. And this is a, an oil, a coal burner, so it will be with an ash pan and a coal tender, but it is, I think, a contract that they are trying to get to make it an oil burner. All right, oh, we forgot the uh, another brick fence gate. It's also another interesting fact. A 3085 is coming back to service, oh, and the group that is restoring it is the group that owns Milwaukee Road 261, so probably see some double headers, that'd be really cool. Alright, so which way are these facing? Alright, so right here in the middle, uh, polished black stone, actually I'll show you guys how to make the full wheel, so one there, one there. I'm actually going to build this another way so I don't get taken down off YouTube because of how these appear to look. If you don't want to make it like that because you just don't want to, you can just make it all blocks. Also, you may have noticed in some of my videos I have added a mini profile avatar. Because um, I'm trying to, you know, I want to set up a face cam thing, but I don't have one, so I kind of have to do that. But yeah, here. But on the other side, you're going to flop it so it looks like that on the other side. You don't want it all to be identical. You want it to be off-centered. That's how they're like. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. All right. All right, guys, so we got all the wheels done. And make sure that when you build them on this side... The holes are in a different size, so they're not perfectly lined up. Just makes it look a little bit better. Gives it more that realism feel. Alright, so we got those done. So now we're going to move on to the rear trucks. So what you're going to need to get is black terracotta, dark oak trapdoor, another big slab. Basically the same thing as what well, as always what I mainly use or what we all use. So skip a block from, and make sure it's two blocks away from that stair. Start the wheels. Oh, forgot the hopper. I always do the wheels not the same color because it gives it more value to it. I know sometimes they're they're very black, but I like to make sure that it's uh, observable. That's why I do those different colors. That's why you can see it better. You know, you don't want it to all be the same because then it bl it contract it, it blends in too much. All right. You're basically just going to shape this out the same way. Just follow along. Don't want to be talking too much because then I'm going to 
make it a little bit boring with my voice in this new microphone. <laughs> okay. In here. Slabs. button on that right there. Sorry about the squeak, that's my chair that I'm sitting on. Alright, so that's the rear. So now we're going to build the uh, boiler. So you're going to need to get out your main blocks for that. Actually, we'll build the entire boiler front. How about that? But let's first just shape it out. I really love this locomotive. I've never seen it in action before. And I really hope to someday to see it. I don't know why, but I, I see it, it almost reminds me of the 844, or maybe, I don't know, I just, no, it kind of almost, I mean, when I look at it in Minecraft, it reminds me of a Hudson, I don't know why, but, or, or like the Polar Express. Alright, then the headlight, the Mars light is optional, since there was a time when they did take it off, but, in factory, this is so funny, factory, it's like you're saying, it's like I'm saying on a car, factory, it came with a Mars light, and I use an Apple. Just because it's the closest thing to a circular object that we're going to get. Alright. And a bell. You can do, um... You don't have to do a bell. You could do a skeleton skull if you want, but I'm going to do a bell. Just make sure you place a structure void or barrier underneath it so that's why it will stay. And a dark oak fence gate. And a sign. I'm not going to type the text in. If you want to, you can or you can just leave it blank. You don't have to make this 261, you can make it 267, 265, and from the uh, S3 series. Alright, then um, what you're going to do is you're going to get out another brick by three. Sorry about that, this chair is kind of squeaky. And then a dark oak fence gate on the end. Ah, gotta fix my position here. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. Alright, that's what you should have. Then, you're gonna get out Wither Skeleton Skull. Two on the end, those are the marker lights. And one up here, this is the air horn, since this locomotive is equipped with an air horn. They were mainly, I think, used on steam locomotives like the passenger. I don't know why the, why the 800 class didn't have it for the Union Pacific, but oh well. Right, then place a slab there for the smokestack and then two uh, polished black stone buttons. And then get out a uh, oak button, place it there. That's the builder's plate. And trap door. Three of them like that. You don't have to make this part white, you could make it uh, black if you want. You would just use a uh, dark of trapdoor as a substitute. It's just right now it has it white. I don't know if they came like that stock. Uh, they like to add some extra modifications and paint to them whenever they restore these locomotives. But all right, so this is what you should have for the front. So the shape's starting to come along, and now we're going to extend the boiler along with these all the way back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Alright, so this is what you should have, and when you extend it out, make sure you bring it all the way back to this part right here, right where the uh, button is right there. And actually, if you want to, uh, go destroy these last four and replace them with black concrete. Get out the uh, suspension kit. <laughs> suspension kit, yeah, this thing is a drift car now. It's Polar Express, because it can drift, alright. Uh, we need to kind of shape it out. We got to give it the suspension here. It's kind of plain. It's going to go over a bump and the driver segment is going to bash against the boiler and 
break it. I don't know. I don't know if that's how physics work, but okay. Um, so take three another big slab. Skip a block. Skip a block. Skip a block. I think on this it is. How does it look? I can see. All right, you're gonna need to get a wall. Another brick wall right here. Another brick slab. I think it's two another brick slabs. Yep, it's two of them. And dark oak fence gate above each wheel. And then an anvil. And you will not put one on the end. And then another brick slab on top of each um, other brick fence. All right, that's what you should have for the suspension part or springs. I don't know why I keep on calling suspension. All right, let's start to shape out the boiler a bit more, make it look more like the boiler. So go ahead and get out iron bars, lever, reliever, polished flex and button, other skeleton skull, another big slab, dark oak trap door, direct sensor, detector, dark oak sign, and uh, oak button. So then place a polished flex and button there, a lever there. That's for the whistle. Actually, Milwaukee Road has two whistles. It has, I think it's original three chime, if that's what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. And the ATSF six chime, I think it currently has. All right, so once you place the lever there, skip a block and place the wither skeleton skull. And iron bars on that same uh, block row that the uh, wither skeleton skull is on. And then get out by concrete and destroy this and bring it back by, I think it's supposed to be seven of them destroyed and only fill in five. And corner off the end. So you should have something like this. And then daylight sensor on the top, make them set to night mode. Nobody likes light theme guys, we want dark mode forever. Minecraft dark mode be like. Shape it out so you just have something like this. And then place those dark oak signs right there. Alright, that's what we should have. Then take a or take your dark oak trapdoor and skip and go back to and daylight sensor like that. And then skip two blocks. Wither skeleton skull and a polished black stone button there. Destroy these three blocks. Alright, so this is what it should look like. Actually, it's supposed to be like that on the end. Forgot to fix that. Alright. Mm hmm. Yeah, alright, this is what it should look like. That's better. That's more like it. Um, also, since we're here, get out a dark oak button. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, just four. Alright, this is what you should have. I think that's all for the boiler. It's pretty plain. All right, so now what are we gonna do? Let's go ahead and build the cab part. Let's get that out of the way. So for the cab, get another brick stairs, black concrete, another brick slab. Uh, we'll go ahead and shape it out. Since this is a fully enclosed cab, most some of these were, I don't know why, probably for weather situations or just aerodynamics. You know, get out dark oak fence and dark oak trapdoor. So place a dark oak fence gate on the end right there and open it. And on top of that place uh, another brick stairs. And then another one on top. And then fill the back end part like that. And then place nether brick stair uh, slabs like that. And then you're going to need a 
nether brick stair on the end, along with another brick slab. And then two black concretes. Gonna need to get out uh, deep slate tiles. We'll shape out the rest of the boiler in a, or firebox in a bit. But this is what you should have. Um, get out a uh, black wolf with a door to the cab. Dark oak trap door on the end here. We're also going to need to place two of them here. Get out glass, gray stained glass, light gray specifically. Another brick stairs. Acacia trap door. Two of them like that. And if you have that banner that we've been using, go ahead and get it out. Place it there. Then let's go ahead and. Oh, we'll wait, first though, let's kind of uh, shape off the cab. So fold down like that. Another brick stairs. Um, I guess we could use doors. Eh, it's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and do the cab interior really quick. So you're gonna need. I can't really get in there. You gotta get out the fallen box. Sorry, it's pretty early. It's 6:04 a.m. right now. All right, get out spruce wood slab. Place two of them there. Since this is a coal burner, we're gonna need to get out blast furnace. I think on top of that, it is a it's polished deep slate slab. Oops. Uh, get out a wall. You can place a lever on there if you want, if you don't want to include the glass that I am, so you don't have to worry about placing a lever on there. Got an acacia fence. You're going to need a acacia button and a stone button. Stone button there, acacia button there. And then acacia fence gate, acacia fence gate there again. That'd be the uh, throttle system so they can use it and go ahead and shape that out. Put uh, two, um, I like racing uh, glass if you want to include it, just you can put it there. Since this is a fully enclosed cab, I kind of like these cabs. And then place a chain right here, no, right there, that's for the whistle. Then a deep slate tile slab there for the um, uh, uh, roof hatch so they can let air in. Two nether brick slabs behind it. And three daylight sensors in the back. No need for a cab overhang. The little, uh, I think it's it's like a rain guard or something. We don't need to put that on today. Alright, so this we should have a cute little cab interior. I think that's the full first full cab interior I've done. Alright, let's continue on with the locomotive. So you're going to need to get out a polished blackstone button and a birch button. Get out that dark oak trapdoor. Place that dark oak trapdoor there. And one there. Alright, that's what you should have. Get out another brick wall. Alright, two like that. And we'll go ahead and extend this out by a bit. That's what you should have. Now let's go into the fun part. Oh, hang on. I <laughs> keep on forgetting steps. I bring up those dark chapters. Now we can move on. All right, let's go on ahead and build the uh, smoke box. So you're gonna need deep slate tiles and the stairs and slabs of that. Another brick slab, uh, another brick fence, dark oak fence gate. And coming over here, extend this out. That's what you should have. Then another brick slab there, and three another brick slabs there. Extend it all the way across. I think it's all the way across, right? Yeah the uh, ashtray. 
Then a dark oak fence gate there and three nether brick uh, fences. I mean, two of them, sorry. Two. Only two. Don't do more. Don't do it or I will. I will come for you. Kidding. Alright. Then get out a stone button and place the stone button right there. Two dark oak fence gates. I, mean, I think you're going to need to have four of them over here. Yeah, alright. I'm right. Right? Yeah. Well, look at that, she's starting to come together. So, oh, over here, get out smooth quartz slab, destroy it, and place it here. Notice there's like a little hump there. Um, it really would be the same on the other side, but this was uh, like right next to it, and I couldn't figure out a way to make it work. So I, it was like like on the same position of it, and I couldn't really fit both, so I decided to do that. But it looks good, so we got three nether brick fences like right there. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and get more parts of the locomotive segment done. Oh, hang on, I don't want to forget this. Two oak buttons right there. All right, so get out black concrete, dark oak fence gate, oak trap door, birch fence gate, polished deep slate stairs, a hopper. Anything else, anything else? Oh, polished blackstone button. All right, so let's run this side coming from right here two black concretes the polished black stone button I think this is a maintenance toolbox don't know if it was on the original or if they added this for restoration purposes and over here right underneath right by the sand dome and no you're not going to need to place that there oh wait hang on you will on this side alright yeah place those there Alright, and then on the other side, this here is the throttle mechanism, that's how they, or the reverse gear thing, that's how they control it. I think, I think that's what it is. So it is right above the second wheel, or the last wheel. So you place an upside down polished deep plate stairs right there, a hopper connecting to it, and then a birch fence gate, and then two dark oak trap doors. If not, I think it's three. Nope, just two. All right. Skip a block. I think it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Yeah, four of them. All right. That's what you should have. Now let's go on to the running gear. It's funny, this is the first time I put this part up like that on the other side, and all of them it's been on, like, it's been on, <laughs> well, except for the articulated, but that's just because they have dual sets, so. Alright, so you're going to need to get out smooth stone slab, polished anisite stairs, iron trap door, birch fence gate, polished deep slate slab, polished deep slate stairs, and a skeleton skull. So, from here at the back, bring this all the way across. And then put a polish in the there, there. I think it's four of these. No, it's only two. And then upside down, stair like that. Right? Yeah. This is, sorry about that, just fixing my headset. All right, so then you're gonna need to place two behind this one and then a polish iron sight stair, two or three iron trap doors. And then bring these back out by four. Yeah, two of them there and a skeleton skull like that. And then a birch fence gate down here, and one up there. All right, that's what you should have. Then on the other side, gonna do the exact same thing, but you're just gonna lift this up, so I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I've gotten it done, and what you're going to do is you're just gonna lift it up like this, make it look like this. Basically, same thing I've always done, except don't place one under there. Leave that empty, just do it like that. That's what you should have for the, uh, Locomotive. I think the locomotive segment is actually complete, so I'm gonna um, quickly check to make sure that we're done with the locomotive, and I think we are. Yeah, it's pretty plain on the boiler, it didn't have that much stuff to put on. 
Is it done? I just want to make sure. I don't want to continue ahead and I still have stuff to do for it. Nah, I think it's good. Alright. Let's get started on the tender. We're on the tender, so what we're going to do is we're going to place black terracotta there. Take like that and make sure it's four blocks away from the black terracotta at the end there. And then fill it in with dark oak fence gate. You're also going to want to continue this on the same uh, three blocks down. So let's go ahead and shape this out. I'm going to give it some sign and shape to it. I feel like Bob Ross. I don't know why. Am I going to be? Am I like the Bob Ross of the Minecraft train uh, building area? Alright, this is what you should have so far. Oops. I just left that. Alright, the get out daylight sensor. Place one on each end. Make a big slot like that. Alright, and make sure it looks like this. Then two another big slabs on the end there. Black concrete. Another brick wall. Should make it look something like this. You're gonna copy this exact same thing three blocks down, so I'm gonna go and do that now. Alright, so I went ahead and built the second truck, so all you're gonna do is copy the same one three blocks down. And let's continue on with the build. So right here, place three black concretes, and I know the wheels kinda look off centered. Uh, it's fine, it'll do for now. I'll probably eventually update this in a, a design in the far future, probably the next few years from now. <laughs> That'll be a while. Do the same thing here. Alright, and get out. Uh, let's clear inventory to make it easier. Get out black wool and make uh, a 2x2 two two of it on both sides with a polished blackstone button on the end. And then get out black stained glass pane and bring it all the way back to there. Right, and then black concrete. And make sure it doesn't go all the way back, so only bring it back about, I think, probably like 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow, I guess that. Just so we have room for the coal bunker. Maybe you could even make the uh, version of it of how you think it's going to look when it's oil burner. Oh, actually, hang on, let's bring this up a bit farther back. Wonder when this thing will be converted to oil. You could actually leave this part empty and fill it with water if you wanted to, but we'd have a conflict with that. Alright, so you should have the tender complete the uh, main frame of what we're going to do. So you should have brought it up and make sure you left uh, enough room in here to fit the uh, coal. I'm going to actually bring that back. Oops. Alright. So to shape it, we're going to need another brick slabs and dark oak trapdoor. Place your dark oak trapdoor on the top of the main part for the coal bunker area. And then three another bricks, or three, sorry. Bring another brick slab back here. Alright, that's what you should have. Then dark oak trapdoor, you're gonna place one, two, three. One, two, three. Daylight sensor. And make sure that you place black concrete there. Daylight sensor or detector, determining what version you're on. Another brick slab there. Daylight sensor there again. 
and then place dark oak chapter there and dark oak chapter there and close it. Right, then get out another brick wall. And first you're gonna place um so it looks something like this. Actually. Yeah, that's how it should look. Sorry, I was just thinking if that would work too, but once you do that, make sure you place your nether brick uh, walls there, the black concrete there, and nether brick stairs on the end. That's what it should look like. Then let's go and shape out the uh, frame of the tender. So get out cobblestone. This is for the stoker, and actually go ahead and make that a uh, stair. The stoker or auger, whatever you call it, whatever floats your boat or fires a box. Follow along with me as I shape this out. Alright, this is what it should look like. Like a little coal bunker. You can fill it up with coal if you want. I'm not going to. Um, but that's what you should have. And down here, actually, since we're already here, uh, place um, three nether brick slabs like that same. On the other side. Hello from the other side. <laughs> Alright, that's what you should have. Then let's go ahead and make the uh, Milwaukee Road logo. Let's get out red terracotta and brick slabs. Alright. Oops, that's not right. Alright, then go on the other side. That's what you should have for that. Then let's go over here. Get out dark oak fence gate. Iron bars, chain, leather brick slab, birch button, leather brick fence, lever, snowball, and a glow item frame. Um, oh, we gotta do that part. But first, uh, bring up iron bars in the back like this. Place another big slab right there. It's for the light. Place a birch button there. And then bring the dark oak fence gate up and open them all. This is the maintenance slider for the tender. And chain right underneath that lamp or that rear light. Another brick fence. And then lever or lever here. Alright, and then get out another brick stairs. Dark oak trapdoor, you're gonna need that slab, black concrete, and spruce wood slab. Place a black concrete there, spruce wood slab there. Another brick slab, another brick stairs. And you're also gonna need dark oak trapdoor. Something I did not put on the original, which I should have. Put your dark oak fence gate there. I forgot to do that surprisingly. Go ahead and add it there. Right. Um, this might actually be it. I think we're done. Um, I'm going to do a quick fly around, make sure we did everything. I think we're done with the tutorial. Other than that, yeah, looks like we're done. Ah, didn't even realize I was done. Well, yep, guys, thanks for um, watching. Um, we've got a new steam locomotive out there. I'll do passenger cars and the ox tender for this uh, eventually once I uh, get around to it. Yeah, um, other than that, this is the um, Milwaukee Road 261. I really like this looking mode. I really love how it turned out. And yeah, um, if you guys want to see more, just let me know. If you like the commission tutorial, you can send it to my PayPal. Tutorials are $10. First time, it is. Uh, if it's your first time, it's $5. So it's going to be pretty cheap. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to charge $90. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Have a great day.